In the previous exercises, you may have noticed some feedback on the screen as I sketched lines and arcs. For example, if I sketch a line and move it close to the horizontal, a small horizontal line flag pops up next to the cursor. Close to vertical, a vertical line flag pops up. If I were to click and complete the line while the flag is showing, the line would be vertical. It would not only appear to be vertical, but it would have a geometric constraint of vertical. The vertical constraint is graphically represented by this flag with the vertical line. I'll leave this line at an angle and sketch another line from the end point. Now you see a different type of feedback. You see a perpendicular symbol pop up and a parallel symbol next to the cursor. Here again, if I were to complete the line while these symbols are showing, constraints of perpendicular or parallel would be added and the associated flag type will appear in the sketch. By the way, if these flags don't appear in your sketch, you can toggle them on and off on your display by pressing the F8 and F9 keys on your keyboard. F8 turns them on and F9 turns them back off. Geometric constraints are a way for you to control the behavior of your geometry. For instance, if I sketch a vertical line and turn off the line tool, I can click and drag the line to move it. Notice that no matter where I drag the cursor, the line remains vertical. If I sketch another line that's at an angle, then follow the dashed line to create a perpendicular line, when I click and drag the line, you can see the perpendicular constraint is maintained. This method of adding constraints on the fly is called creating automatic constraints. Let's take a look at a few other automatic constraints. If I have an existing line in my sketch and I want to create a line parallel to it, I can start sketching and when the line gets close to the same angle, Inventor recognizes this and shows the parallel flag next to both lines, indicating that a constraint will be added. If I finish the line tool, watch as I click and drag the line. Both lines will stay parallel to each other. Another commonly used automatic relation is creating a line tangent to a circle. I'll begin by creating a circle. Then I'll switch to the line tool. Next, I'll click on the circle to place the end point of the line. And as I drag my cursor close to tangent with the circle, the flag pops up. At this point, I can click again to finish the line. Since the constraint was added for me automatically, I can click and drag the end point of the line, and it always stays tangent with the circle.